Welcome to day 22 of the Triple S Veda Challenge, vlogging every day in August. And uh, glad you guys can make it today. <sighs> well, I'm out of the house for a little while. I thought I'd give you guys a different perspective today. I'm out for a little walk today and a walking trail at the school here. And I uh, thought I'd walk around and give you guys a different look around the neighborhood here. And uh, here at the school. And so today I'm talking about gifts that would make me do the happy dance. First of all, I don't even know what the happy dance would look like for me. It would look kind of weird and awkward. But um, let's see. We got walkers on the trail. We got people everywhere. People pushing baby carts. People playing basketball. People looking at me weird because I'm talking at my phone. That's okay. So, but anyway, we're talking about gifts today. Let's see. Let me get past these folks here and I'm going to interrupt them. All right, here we go. Well, so here we are. All right, so tell me about gifts. Would you rather have, before I get into discussing what I like, would you rather have, give me a, a number one, if you would like a physical gift, would a physical gift make you do the happy dance? Or a number two, if a, an experience would give you the happy dance? So which kind of gift would make you do a happy dance? Number one or number two? Number one is a physical gift. Number two is an experiential gift. So Periscope peeps, go ahead. Yeah, all right, thanks for the hearts there. Which, um, which one of those? Give me a one or a two there. One is a physical gift, two is an experience. Which one of those would make you do a happy dance? Come on, it's just a one or a two. All you gotta do is put it in there. Come on, put it in there. No, nobody? Nobody likes gifts? All right, <clears throat> well, let's see. For me, I will say this. There's very few physical gifts I think you could get me that would make me do the happy dance. Now, so that being said, I think um, experiences, um, I've always kind of been big on this with my kids, that I enjoy experiential gifts, right? There's, um, for me, uh, at least, I think the gifts that would make me do the happy dance now uh, would probably be tickets to go see U2. Uh, big U2 fan, never, been, never seen them in concert. That would be pretty epic. Um, tickets to see Bruce Springsteen in concert. Never seen Bruce Springsteen in concert. Um, that would be, uh, those would be two epic experiential gifts. Um, a trip back to New York City where I grew up, that would be a great uh, experiential gift. Um, any kind of travel, I think. Any kind of travel would be a good experiential gift. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, traveling to locations, traveling to uh, different kinds of conferences or conventions or uh, things like that, those are pretty good gifts. Um, especially things, <coughs> excuse me, especially things like, um, like, like I've been to tons and tons of youth ministry conferences and things like that. I would love to go to a uh, bloggers conference, a uh, video, uh, video marketing conference uh, like VidCon or uh, stuff that YouTube promotes, that kind of stuff to get a different point of view. Um, and maybe learn some other skills. That's another thing. Anything that increases experientially, that increases my um, my knowledge or uh, my skill base, uh, that makes me uh, better at what I do. Well, then I definitely want to do that. So, um, let's see. Any other experiences? Hmm. Um, maybe meeting people. That would be experiential. People. I would like to meet. Is there anybody you would like to meet? What kind of experience, like meeting a person? <clears throat> and if you could name any kind of person you'd want to meet that would improve maybe your, I don't know, improve you, would do something for your professional, or do something for you professionally or personally? Do you think if I met them, that'd be so cool? Who would that be for you? Go ahead and leave me something there. Leave me, uh, leave me a little comment there, Periscope peeps. And by the way, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, Thank you for watching. Uh, leave me something in the comments there. Whether you like experiential or you like physical gifts. Uh, and maybe a person or something that would uh, make you do the happy dance in regards to uh, maybe a person you'd meet. So let's see. 
let me just mention maybe a couple of people. I like. There are professional people. I like to meet Pat Flynn. Pat Flynn's a, uh, a uh, you know, a podcaster, an entrepreneur. Uh, let's see. I'd like to meet. Um, golly. Oop. Hey, hello there, Mr. Egg. <laughs> Mr. Egg. We're talking about uh, dance, uh, things that make me do the happy dance today, gifts and such. This is for the Triple S Veda Challenge for those that are new coming in. It's vlogging every day in August. Um, put on by, hi. Uh, put on by um, uh, Amy uh, Schmidauer from SavvySexySocial.com. And uh, this is day 22, so I'm excited I made it this far. Most of my, most of my uh, stuff's been really late. <laughs> At like 11 o'clock at night or 10 o'clock. Uh-huh. I have no idea what that says. Okay. Um, but anyway, um, so I'm trying to think of other people I'd want to meet that I think would, you know, improve me, make me an improvement upon my life. Um, uh, business people. Um, um, CEOs. Um, you know, having lunch with people. John Maxwell. John Maxwell would be kind of fun to go meet because I grew up on his books. Um, that'd be a lot of fun to do. Um, and have dinner with. Um, it's one thing when you go see people. You want to meet people, right? You want to just. You don't want to just go to another conference and see another person on the stage. I've I've seen all that. And now I'm at a much bigger. I want a much bigger experience than just seeing people on stage. I'd rather just sit and talk with them, uh, just for dinner, something like that. But Anyway, guys, uh, that's kind of my thoughts on uh, kind of gifts that would make me do the happy dance. They're mostly experiential. They involve uh, traveling, um, seeing concerts and things that I will probably never ever get to see again, um, like Springsteen, U2, stuff like that, and then meeting people uh, that I may never meet again. So, but anyway, any uh, final comments, anything from you guys that you'd like to share about gifts, things that you enjoy, things that make you do the happy dance? Nothing? Anything? Alright guys, well thanks for joining me today. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, please be sure to go ahead and hit, if you're brand spanking new, uh, hit that subscribe button right here. Uh, that will get videos like this in your inbox. And, uh, and then uh, you won't have to uh, worry about getting updates like this. They'll just come right to you. And then of course if you're a regular viewer, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Let me know you like the video want more of them. And, uh, Got to get in here before it rains. It's going to be a rainy night, I think. The weather. It's kind of clearing up. I don't know what it's going to do. But anyway, I'm off to a little uh, cookout, things like that. But thanks you for your time today, uh, Periscope peeps. Appreciate you hanging out with me for a little while. And uh, we will see you guys tomorrow on the Triple S Beta Challenge. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.